Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 8 iPhone apps that I believe every iPhone user must at least try them once on their device. These are apps that are actually super useful and will let you do a lot more with your iPhone. Now iPhones are always dependent on their apps to perform different tasks and of course the better apps you have the more you can get out of your device. So make sure you go ahead and try out these apps. These are super cool and of course very useful at the same time. Starting things off with post link. This is really interesting. It will add links to your photos. Now, how many times have you posted something? Let's say you post a picture on Instagram of maybe a product or whatever you want. And you say in the description, you have to write link in the bio because of course there is no option to add a link there. Well, you can do that on a really interesting way with this app. So the app is super simple to use. You open the app, tap on create, and all you have to do is just paste your link right here. Once you have done that, tap on the next button. And then here, what you can do is choose a video that you want to post or a picture that you want to post, whichever one you want. And once you have done that, you can see what it does. It will add the small QR code right there on the corner, and that will let people open the link that you have pasted from the picture. Now with iOS 15, you can do that, of course, using live text, or you can use the camera of another phone, or when you see the post somewhere, of course, you can just scan it with the camera of your phone. You will have a QR code just right there on the picture, that way you can share any link you want with your videos or pictures. Life AR is a really interesting app. It is a camera app that works using AI and lets you tell something to someone. So let's say you want to describe something or you want to tell someone where something is. You can use any of the tools here. So it will have different stickers. You can draw anything you want. Or you can use like these arrows or things like that. You can see I can place arrows right there and I can start recording here. It will record the video. You can see this is AR. So even if I move the phone, the arrows will stay just right there where we have placed them. You can see how cool that is. That really works really, really well. Of course, using the AR technology, that's really awesome. So you can share this video. Let's say you want to describe something to someone or just tell people how to do something. You can do that with this app. Of course, you will have an undo button. You have a delete button to delete everything that you have done. You can add text as well. So it's super easy to use. And of course, at the same time, very useful. Digital Highlights is the next app for the video. This is a Safari extension that allows you to highlight text and save it. Just like you highlight something on a book, you can highlight on websites with this extension. So you install the app, head on to Safari, tap the AA button, go to Manage Extensions and make sure you have this turned on. Once you have done that, you will get this yellow button right there. Now all you have to do if I just want to highlight a piece of text here, all I have to do is select the text tap on copy and tap the plus button right here, click close. That's done. It has been saved into the app. Once we go back to digital highlights, you can see all the highlights that we have done. But what's really cool is that if you highlight something, let's say from an article and have it saved here, anytime you go back to that highlight, it will allow it to go back to the article simply by tapping that button. It will take you back on the place where you have done that highlight. Next up is an app called Snap Edit. Now this is a free app that allows you to remove objects from photos. It works with AI, so it does everything automatically and it actually does things really, really good. So all you have to do is simply take a picture or load a picture from your camera roll. Once you have done that, of course you will have the tools here. You will have the undo redo button. You can choose here the brush, the size of the brush, of course, if you wanna do that manually. But what's this app really good for is the AI. So you tap right there, auto AI, and you can see it will automatically identify the objects. So it will just circle them like that. So you can tap on any object, of course, if you want to remove it or you can just go here and select the objects one by one or remove them all at the same time once you have selected the objects that you want to remove from that picture just tap here and you can see how good it works it actually does an amazing job of removing the objects and of course if you tap right here you can see the original and then 
the photo where the objects have have been removed and it actually works perfectly if you want to remove anything from any photo you can go ahead and do that as easy as this the next app for the video is called full screen browser and this gives you the desktop experience on your iphone and it's really a full screen browser with all the desktop features and it has some really amazing tools that makes browsing really really easy so the app is free the only thing i actually don't like about the app is that it sometimes will display a lot of ads so let's just try it out here if you open youtube you can see we're right now on the desktop mode but what it does is that it offers also a switch here to quickly go to the mobile mode so just like that i can switch between desktop and mobile with one click it has some really amazing features like the slider right here to quickly zoom in and out that's super cool and you have this knob right here which allows you to auto scroll so if you're reading something let's say on a website maybe like wikipedia you don't want to scroll all the time you can have it scroll automatically super cool now if you go right here you will have your settings and all that and of course you will have your tabs here so just browse any website you want on a full desktop mode. The next app for the video is called Split Screen. I know this is a feature a lot of iOS users want. We have been waiting this maybe for iOS 16. It's not happening, probably won't ever happen. Well, with this app, you can kind of get that experience and you can browse different social media, different websites, and of course, maybe watch a YouTube video at the same time or have your Twitter or your Instagram feed open at the same time. So you will have here the app, it is split in half, of course. You can resize these simply by moving this blue line right here. So I can open YouTube right there and browse YouTube. Let's just search for a video here. So if I search for a video, I can go ahead and play it right there at the top. But of course, I can then go ahead and browse here. So I have a video playing. I can go on Wikipedia right here and browse anything else I want. So this is super simple to use, of course. And if you just want to do this, if you need this, you need to have maybe two websites open at the same time or have a video playing and doing something here, then this is the app for you. The app is free currently, so you can go ahead and download it and try it out. The next app for the video is called Recharge Me. This is a super useful app if you have a ton of devices. So let's say you have like an Apple Watch or another iPad or something that you don't really use that often and you probably forget to recharge them all the time. Well, with this app, all you have to do is just tap the plus button right there, choose the device type, choose the status, add an icon if you want to, and then choose how frequently you want to charge the device. If you want to charge it daily, you go right there and you choose the time when you want to get remembered. So once you have done that, you will have your devices right here. So you tap on one of those and it shows you right here all the different details you have the charging records so it will show you right here with these dots how many times you have charged and when you have charged your device and of course once it's time to recharge your device it will give you notifications letting you know that it is time to charge the device that you have set up on the app and last but not least app icons if you're someone that likes to customize their device and have your own custom icons this is the app for you the app is free and it offers a ton of different ways to customize icons create new icons very very easily so let's just say here we want to add an icon from the list you will have a ton of different icons you can use of course let's just use one here random one so let's just go with this one and what we can do here is of course change the font change the thickness of the object right here and of course always pick any color you want so you can pick the color of the icon pick the color right there of the text or of the logo whatever you have placed there it's very easy to, to use of course you can tap right there to make this bigger or smaller and just make sure that you have created your own custom icons that you want and of course you can tap right here to search for any symbol you want so let's just search for something so let's say i search for car here you can see we have a ton of different like icons that we can use just like that you can go ahead and create your own custom icons and have your device customized any way you like so that is it for this video guys these are eight amazing iphone apps that i believe every iphone user should try out on their device if you want to give them a try make sure you check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there thank you guys for watching the video leave a like if you enjoyed this one i'll see you on the next video